I'm here at one of the most iconic restaurants in all of the South. Let's show you what it is. And that is the Loveless Cafe, one of the iconic restaurants, good old southern food. You know, I think there's over 6,000 reviews of it on TripAdvisor, so I'm not exactly breaking any ground here, but um, I'm not breaking any ground here with this review, but I am excited. I do want to officially do a review, so let's go eat. As you may or may not have heard from the other video, I am here with my cousin Kelly Scott, who has, um, has fond memories of this restaurant. Got two blueberry moonshines for the price of one in this restaurant. Yep, um, we do. They have already. It is not busy at all here, which is kind of, I mean, it's, what is it, five, six o'clock. Time back home, five o'clock. Wait a minute. Yeah, it's a five, six o'clock, depending on what time you got. They have already brought out the iconic biscuits. Which, so you, you sure say 22 cents? I'm not sure. Yeah, mine hadn't adjusted yet. So what do you think of the biscuits? They better than grandma's. You better hurry. You better hurry. <laughs> we uh, I got the good kind of old fashioned southern. Uh, yeah, I think so. Um, Thank you. We got the food here. We'll quickly go over the menu. They got salads, a bunch of sandwiches, platters, fried chicken. This seems like a heck of a place to get fried chicken. They do have hot chicken. I don't think I'll be getting hot chicken. We'll probably have that later on. Made from scratch sides. And this is a local place. We got breakfast as well. I don't like to get the breakfast. So, got sweet tea. The sweet tea was not as sweet as I thought it should be. But that's the menu. We'll check back with what we got. So they do have this jelly here. Kind of a looks like a made jelly type thing. The biscuits, we've already had one syllable food one. They're good. Very good biscuits. They're not as big as the Pick and Forge Five Up Farm Kitchen, but that's not necessarily a bad thing. Because those you eat one and you four. They say you're gonna eat. We're talking about the farm oats kitchen? Yeah. Yeah, those those are gonna be almost impossible to beat. So. Very good. We like a we like a pro baseball player trying to complete compete with somebody from double A. <laughs> <laughs> We uh, just had a really nice manager come by and speak, talk to us for several minutes, um, yeah. ask some questions. So it was a real nice gesture. I think he did see my gimbal here, so I think that probably did help. But, but real nice folks. So, are down. You also Ritz, turn the greens and decide to match the VP with fried chicken. You also have to love the fact that you know you're in the South where you have some mashed potatoes and they don't even ask you if you want gravy that it's all back and bring it out. This is my fried chicken. We both got fried chicken. In New York. <laughs> fried chicken half water. You get mashed potatoes and gravy. You got oak cream. That's a lot of dishes again. That's a that's a that's a two-hander. This probably a joke. In there, that I better not make since I don't want to make you non family friendly jokes. I'm about to say, you got half. Yeah, I got, I got half like, too. Yeah. Seems like you got less than me. Oh, I take mine on camera. Like that. You can hear the crunch from here. You think it's better than the $3 um, piece of Fruit City chicken I got? Wednesday. <laughs> uh, well, well, I am starving. Great eight, first quality. Right I am starving. I'm gonna go eat. Mashed, these mashed potatoes here. I'm gonna show you those. And here's my good gravy. You know, these mashed potatoes. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
Those are amazing. As good of a mashed potatoes as I've ever had in my class. And I get mashed potatoes a lot of places. Yeah. Now what rare thing you're gonna see the BP eat turnip greens on live television. We will do that when we get to 2,000 subscribers. <laughs> yeah, okay. Oh well, I tried, y'all. Yeah, Sorry. Fresh okay. Yeah. I, I actually think I'm. If I had to, if you made me pick between the mashed potatoes or the uh, okay, I think I'd go the okra. I mean, I think I'd go with mashed potatoes. That's probably the best mashed potatoes. I've ever had. You got some chicken um, legs. Yeah, you got two legs, baby. You got the breast. I didn't eat the thigh. This was the. A good clutch to it. Quick half time check in. Those are officially the best mashed potatoes I've ever had in my life. As the guy said on my, as the guy said on my carnival celebration video, I could lick the plate if my wife would let me. Oh yeah, and I had my grits down. And, uh, the fact that Kelly, I don't think we've asked you on camera I, what you think of your grits. But I'm guessing I don't have to after seeing Oh, yeah. That. <laughs> oh, I'd down that before anything else. And the other thing you have is turnip greens? Yeah. Right. Had to go with something green, something healthy, you know, sort of kind of. The uh, one negative so far is the sweet tea is not sweet. So there's the man that would be nice. Kelly like a savage. <laughs> This motorboat. <laughs> yeah, time it takes to. I do think the time biscuits. it takes to get to the point where the pork you can already have like two, three bites. And there's not that many bones in there. Oh, there is, but they're not like you don't have to eat them out. I think the biscuits are good, but I wasn't necessarily. I wouldn't rate the biscuits a ten out of ten. I would rate. Hi. The but, I still I ate, ate, but, but I still ate, but I still ate like three. So <laughs> I was happy with them plain. Um, you had something you wanted to somebody so you want to thank. We decided to go with a different type of dessert. Uh, I saw this uh, on the menu, and I remember a coworker by the name of Kay Jennings who makes the best chess pie I've ever had. A special shout out to her. She makes desserts and all sorts of great stuff for us. At work, but uh, yeah, I do not. I love red velvet. I love pie. I do not know what chess pie is. I'm not sophisticated, sophisticated enough to know that. But I think you'll like. Odds it. are, we'll, we'll like it. But it's, it's your. It is five twenty nine. So that's a that's a reasonably priced drink. And you also had some kind of little flavor drink, moonshine something, right? The first. Uh, yep. Had this last time I was here. Of course, I got to the price of one on that trip, but, you know. Tiffany is not here to give you the second one. <laughs> All right, Kelly, you want to do the honors for us? Sure. And we, we are sharing it because we were both wanted to try it, but wasn't super hungry because we ate a half a chicken. Yeah. Yeah. Nah. <laughs> May have to make do with the fork. My knife's got murder on it. Kelly on that struggle bus. Well, like I said, this. We're losing viewers by five minutes. This works better with a knife and a fork, but. Close enough. Yeah. Good. Oh sure. I found out. I tried to find more chicken on that basket. Giving you the plate. All right. What a guy.
Two minutes to show you y'all the gift shop, right? Where we like that? What? Are y'all closing two minutes? We close at eight. Eight. Okay. We'll look fast. Cool. I could have used that. But it doesn't have love this cafe in it. Ooh, sticker. I'll have to get me a sticker for my cup. We are limited for time, so we'll... Don't get a hurry, because it's now out. Oh, y'all have an hour. That's always seven. Ah, we're oh, on Georgia. Okay, we're on Georgia time. That's why it's throwing us off. Oh, yeah, mine never updated. <laughs> y'all are... For y'all, we don't get out of the house much. You have to pick up. I mean, that's supposed to do automatically, right? My apple did. Well, if they had the dolly, what would all the dolly do sticker it's out? No, with apple, it would have to, it would be some kind of, uh, we don't have time for anti. Uh, <laughs> <times out. laughs> cool. uh, Christmas uh, you have to, you'd have to go through the process of it yourself. Of ah, nobody's here. <laughs> nobody's watching this video for your anti apple apps. The truth about apple is uh, yeah. cool shot. Not too much in there for me, but. Best severe section they got. They got some bottle openers, which work as magnets. Some cups, some three dollar koozies, some kitchen stuff, some towels. Some pens, spatulas. Don't, these don't really say about this cafe on it. They got, they got, I thought this was cool. And guitar slash water. Yeah, like you got this little oven mat thing. You need some change? Was I supposed to be funny? I wasn't listening. I just need 10 cents. Oh, okay. Oh, and then they got some three dollar magnets that we can change. They got some good magnets, three dollars still. That's the one I get. Oh vaults on the food. Um, well, as a tick. Great food. Yeah, that is, we had a lot of food, and neither one of us really even, I think we said we wouldn't, couldn't eat it all, but nobody got super close to not eating it, and we actually got a dessert as well. Cheesecake, the red velvet cheesecake was good. I'm glad I saw the special one. Yeah, and it was priced for well, $5 and a half. Um, but, yeah, that was the best mashed potatoes I've ever had in my life. I've probably said that three times in this video. But they were good. Um, the grits were good too. Uh, yeah. The gift shop, unfortunately, good, uh, looks like they in Monday through the, Sunday the nine. Gift four. shop is closed. Wah, wah, wah. Nine a.m. to four, so we missed that. But yeah, they do have the little country market, so we'll walk over here while we're see what they got. But um, yeah, it was certainly a good way to start the trip off. Definitely needs to be one of your first stops. 
to Nashville. Yeah. I think so. It's a bit of a drive, so plan that accordingly. You, you're going to want to probably go there the day that you've got a little bit of free time. That's worth it, though.